how to make a better green screen background. Hi, Taylor here at Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. Whether you're in a studio or recording on Zoom, if you wanna use a green screen, you're gonna get a better quality background when you eliminate wrinkles and shadows. Let's talk about wrinkles. You wanna make sure that you use a green screen that's not going to have wrinkles. So the pop-up one that I'm currently using is a great option. Take a look at our review video where we reviewed this particular green screen. There are other pop-up green screens that are more cloth-like. Those sometimes get a little wrinkly, and so you wanna make sure that you use a portable steamer to get rid of those wrinkles. And those large muslin cloth green screens, it's a guarantee that you're gonna to wanna to spend at least a half hour before you're recording to get rid of all of those wrinkles. When you leave wrinkles, it makes it so the background has some odd black spots that it doesn't actually fully key correctly and it creates shadows. And so that's why you wanna make sure that you don't have any weird creases or any weird wrinkles. Take the time to steam or to purchase a product where you don't need a steam. If you have any questions about this topic, please leave them in the comments below. And we're always here to help you create green screen videos if you need assistance.